Greetings families, welcome back. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. If this is your first time, my name is Mambe and you are very and warmly welcome. Stay tuned. We are in Mali today. Once again, there is a new development a project. I mean project, a lot of projects in Mali. This weekend, while we were resting, the president and his ministers were so, so busy showing us what they are doing in the country. There is a town called Sekasu. This town is, um, it has an international road that uh, transport goes between Nigeria, Accra, and um, Benin, and the rest. So, according to the news, this town has so many accidents than any other town. So they decided that the road that is there, they will maintain it and also extend it and make it bigger and nicer for the people. Wow. So they did it. This road, because it's international road, the West Africa Development um, Bank has also contributed some money towards the building of this road whereby the government contributed 70,000 billion towards it, safer, not in dollar, don't be scared. Yes, so what all that I'm saying is there are a lot of things going on there. Please, let's listen to the transport minister and I'll be back. Thank you so much. Traffic to the benefit of Shikaso and reduce accident rates because Sikaso is an area where in 2023, we found that Sikaso alone carried 5.03% of the accident rate occurring in Mali. So these road infrastructure projects have facilitated mobility for the benefit of these Kasos and modernized the Sikaso road network. And then these road infrastructure projects, as you can also see, have made the town of Chikaso, as we said, a beautiful town today. The total value of the projects inaugurated in Chikaso amounts to over 70 billion CFA francs. While investments in Kyolo were financed entirely from the national budget, our country benefited from support from the West African Development Bank for the Sikaso project, which cost over 48 billion CFA francs. We're very proud to have taken part in this ceremony, which we've been studying for years. We've seen the results up close today, and we're really proud of them. Now, what I'd like to add is that when works of this kind are carried out, there's also the maintenance aspect, so we're asking the population to really help us to behave well on the road. We'll check with the agencies. Maintenance in Mali. Direction General des routes, money road, money type is poor and contribute. Yes, so they are asking the public to behave well on the road to reduce the accident if possible. They don't want to see any accident at all because that's the reason why this road is built. It's beautiful, isn't it? The transformation, looking at it from up, is really, really nice. Secondly, they have also opened a stadium for the people of Sikasu. I mean, <laughs> it's really nice. It's huge. And that's why the people were rejoicing and shouting. They didn't go with empty hands. You know, in Africa, when you are going to visit elderly people or anyone, you have something small to give to them. Those are the lorries you saw. The lorries carrying food to be distributed to the people who are in need of food, which is great. Yes, so they have stadium. The road has been maintained and built new ones. Thirdly, they're going to build school. They've already started building the cottages, but the president himself is in the foundation of the school. I will play it, but I'm sorry. He speak in the local language, so it wasn't easy to, trans to translate it into English. But for those of you who can speak the local language, for your sake, I will play it so you can listen to it. I must admit that I like the way that this president behaved, especially towards his own language, the mother tongue. He never shy away. Whenever he is going to do something, announcement, 
he tried hard to use their local language, which is great because, as you can see, I couldn't translate it, so the enemy will not hear, unless the enemy would deem that's the only way they can hear or understand what he is saying. So I'm so so proud of him, and I will start speaking my language so nyepeno inanye siwawe. So let's go. Let's listen to him. I'll be back. Islam gani no yera maura srai no yuka kanya re srai no yuka anga na faso srai uka kanya re tai kubo srai siga soyo kala damine amena baba baba kala damine amena cheba baba kala damine amena ka fuli bla siga soyo dante fuli mla ansera amena siga soga laini lobe ulub na la sabati bi ana no ukum kona na o folo folo no yuka siga soyo kala soba. Now for university, Andrew will be for what I be. Kafo Siga Subayana, the university no Kala Subay, and you want to Malla follow, and you want to Malla follow. Kafo Siga Subayana, the university, the ministry, the ministry, the ministry. Yes, I hope those who understand it understand what he was saying. But I'm so proud of them. What they are doing, they should continue doing it. And the God gave them strength. The God continued to protect the three amigos, to protect their country and stay away from any destruction because these young ones and even the old ones are rejoicing. We are all rejoicing to see what they are doing there in um, the Sahara. So great news for them. This school will be finished soon and very soon we'll be talking about it. Anyway, I will leave you here. My new subscribers, my returning subscribers, and those who are part of it. Thank you so, so much for your support. I appreciate your time. As always, it's not easy spending data listening to what is going on at the other side of the world, even though you are not there. But with one heart, we are all supporting them together, and I truly appreciate them. If you pass by and you click on this video, it means you are also part of the uh, revolution, and let's keep spreading the news. So thank you for those who are sharing as well. God bless you. If anything come my way, I will see you soon, which is right now. I will see you again. Bye-bye. By the way, I give credit to OLTM news thank you so much for updating us on what is going on in the south thank you